Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of this year's custom ornament kit. I've been making these for the last few years and they seem to be real popular. And it's a way to uh, customize and personalize Christmas ornaments uh, for friends and family or to make a little extra cash during this holiday season. Uh, you can kind of think of it as kind of like a little business in a box. It basically includes everything that you need in order to personalize these ornaments and uh, sell them to friends, family, or at craft shows. So the main thing that you get in this kit is an Inkscape file, and that's kind of what we have open here. And uh, this is kind of important. Uh, you got to make sure that you have Inkscape installed on your computer. Otherwise, this just isn't going to work. It's going to open up in a blank web page and then you're going to start thinking that I ripped you off. No, that's not true. You just don't have Inkscape installed on your computer. Uh, you could download that for free over at Inkscape.org. Uh, it's a free download and uh, you could install that on your computer and that way you could open up the Inkscape file. And uh, you also need to have a basic understanding of how Inkscape works. Uh, you don't have to be an expert at it. Uh, but you do have to have a little bit of a working knowledge on how to use Inkscape. If you don't know how to use Inkscape, if you come over here to Scrollsaw Village under the Resources tab, uh, look at Village University, and we have a free class uh, that teaches you how to use Inkscape to make your own Scrollsaw patterns. So check that out if you are interested. Okay, so back to the main page. Uh, this is the file that you'll get, and uh, you have four different ornaments. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these ornaments. And you don't want to use uh, uh, modify these originals here. Uh, we will want to make uh, copies of them. So we want to select the ornaments uh, with a little bit of marquee tool. And then hit uh, Control D. Control D for duplicate. And you can move that over to your page. So these are the originals over here. You don't want to mess with those. Because uh, if you... Um, mess with these, uh, you can't go backwards. You can't make other ones. Uh, if you accidentally save over the top of it, it's not a big deal. Just go back to Scrollsaw Village, re-download the kit, and uh, you can start with a new one. Over here is your page. This is the page in which you uh, will basically print. Anything that's on this page will print. Uh, so we copied over our ornament, and it's super easy. All you need to do is grab your text tool, double click into the name and let's just put my name just like that and then we could with the marquee kind of select everything and then come up here to path union and it welds everything together into a really nice pattern for your scroll saw let's go ahead and set that to the side here let's do this little horse one once again marquee everything control D to duplicate and then move it over. I'm going to put my my uh, niece's name in there. Uh, her name is Samara. And as you can kind of see, it's a little bit too tight. That little that um, that frame there is too too small. Uh, not a big deal. Just select your frame and then grab these little nodes, and you can kind of pull them out, just like that. And then once again, select everything, and then come up here to Path Union, and there is. Samara's ornament. We'll put that to the side. Uh, let's go ahead and select this candle. Go ahead and duplicate that. Once again, Control D for duplicate. And let's do my nephew's name. So Dalton. But maybe we don't want to use that font. Maybe we want something a little bit fancier. Uh, we could change that. So again, uh, select your text tool. Select your name here. And look for the uh, T icon. It's usually at the top of the screen. Sometimes it's on the side. So just kind of uh, look in both places. But that will bring up your fonts properties. And here are all the fonts installed on your computer. Uh, you can select any font that you feel that you could scroll effectively. Uh, this one I'm going to choose uh, Cooper Black. And I'm just going to click Apply. And that changes the font. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that. And then once again we could select everything. Uh, and then come up to Path, Union. And there is Dalton's. 
So on this page, you could uh, arrange anything uh, however you want. Just try to make it all fit. And then you uh, could print these out. If you are selling uh, customized patterns to fellow scrollers, you could come up here and you could uh, you could change your name up here. You know, custom pattern by Travis, and put your email address. So if they want to buy more from you, uh, they know where to come. Uh, so that's a nice little bit of branding there that you could add uh, easily enough. Uh, and then it's just a matter of printing this out. Uh, you could also save it. Uh, each one of these individually as a PNG, or you could save it as a PDF. It's uh, up to you. Uh, or just, if you're going to be scrolling them yourself, just print them out uh, on your home printer. Uh, if these ornaments are too big, uh, you could easily scale them to whatever size you feel most comfortable at. Uh, so it gives you a lot of flexibility there. And then with your kit, uh, when you open it up, uh, we, we do have uh, instructions here as a PDF. You could kind of take a look in there and uh, it kind of gives you some information like how to actually do the customizing so you don't have to watch this video every single time, but it kind of gives you a step-by-step -step on how to do that. Uh, it also tell you uh, a little bit of information on a good way to make PDFs. So if you are selling uh, PDFs uh, to your fellow scrollers, uh, Let's get back to that section real quick. There it is, PDFs. I use Primo PDF, uh, but it gives you kind of step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Uh, you could also export PNGs. It'll ex uh, explain how to export those PNGs. So what do you get in the kit? The kit actually comes with two Inkscape files, SVG files, uh, one for A4 size, so outside of the US, and then we also have US letter for those in the United States. Uh, we have the instructions PDF. We just showed you a little bit of that a little bit earlier. That includes step-by-step -step written instructions on how to customize these, as well as instructions on make PDFs, PNGs, as well as some selling ideas and your usage rights information. Uh, we also have some of these pre-made promos. So if you, uh, what I would do is just post this on your social media. These are already made. Uh, and you can have them different price points. Uh, this one is $12 each. Uh, if you're in the UK, you could also have one that is in uh, the British pound. Uh, so these are all pre-made. So it's just super easy to post on your social media and you don't have to do any extra work. Uh, I have them made in $8, uh, $10, $12, $14, $16. Uh, both in dollars and in British pounds. If you know GIMP, we also have the source file for these promos. So you could customize this any which way you want. You could uh, adjust the title or the bylines. You could put your photo in there if you would like. Uh, you could add or remove uh, ornaments or you could change the price points. Uh, but it gives you all the source files so you could uh, create a customized uh, promo uh, any which way you want. Uh, but that is for those of you that understand and know how to use GIMP and uh, you can create your own promos. With the this year's kit, it includes the bell, the uh, rocking horse, a candle, and a uh, country church. We also have other kits available. It's just uh, it's under patterns, under ebooks, and look for the business kits. Uh, we have uh, several other patterns from previous years, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at these just so you can kind of see what they look like. So last year's we have the angel, a wreath, Santa, and a stocking. Uh, 2020 we had a, a deer, a traditional Christmas ornament, a truck with a Christmas tree, and then a Bethlehem. In 2019, looks like we did a snowman, a snowflake, candy cane, and a present. And for you pet lovers, we also have a kit for our furry little friends with a little kitty cat and a dog. Paw print and a heart with a paw print, so that's kind of fun as well. Uh, so you could go ahead and check out those patterns as well. So what can you do with this? Uh, you can make as many custom ornaments or ornament patterns as you'd like. You could create and sell ornament patterns to your fellow scrollers as a printout, a PDF, or a bitmap like a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, you could even create and fin uh, sell finished ornaments at craft shows, online sales, or events. 
Uh, what I ask you not to do is not to give away this actual business in a box kit. Uh, just don't distribute uh, the custom ornament kit in its original or modified state. This is a way for Scroll Saw Village to keep its lights on, and the kit isn't very expensive, so just kind of point them in our direction. So that's all I got. I just kind of wanted to show you a quick demonstration on how to use this year's custom ornament kit and how you could personalize ornaments for your friends, family, or to make a few bucks during this holiday season. That's all I got for now. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy holidays.